Well, there's a growing resentment among the population. Even our own citizens are on the verge of revolting. Everyone uh, thought the war was over after the battle against Escania, but now the circumstances are even worse than before. People have to pay higher taxes, but at the same time take in less because all the young people are being conscripted. Conscripted? Resistances keep appearing and we have to make examples of them. Your Highness, for many years we have dreamed of seeing our flags raised on the walls of Harnsport and Wernshire. But now they are obscured by all the bodies we are hanging. As your advisor, I have to ask this question, Your Maj uh, Majesty. Is this austerity really necessary? Our army is strong enough. After all, we possess the Grand Grimoire. Moreover, in addition, General Godfrey, uh, General Alina and General Kenridge now command the powers of the Grimoire. They alone are as powerful as an entire army. So that's what you think, huh? What about the rest? My prince, well, I will... I'm a bit confused, your highness, but it might be due to my age. I see. Generals, if you think we are at war against only Nabrila, you are wrong. Escania and Gravo still hate us. Just because we are their new masters does not mean these dogs are going to eat out of our hands. We will not be able to negate their century-old hatred so easily. But we can prevent it from being manifested into violence against us. With their drained bodies, they can do nothing. Once uh, their will is shattered, they will be begging for scraps at our tables as the dogs they are. I understand, your majesty. Furthermore, we only want to use the Grand Grimoire in an emergency. In the upcoming battle against Nabrilia, your newly obtained powers will have to suffice, generals. You don't plan to use the Grimoire? I beg you to reconsider. I've made my decision. Enough for today. I will retire to my chambers. As you wish, your majesty. Welcome back to New Wernshire, Sir Victor. Um, just give me a second. This time accompanied by a few more people. This gentleman is Lord Zandar. He helps us restru restructure Wernshire as King Frederick, Frederick wishes. Well, well. At last we meet, Sir Victor. We missed each other last time. I am a great admirer of your plays. No one else manages to breathe so much life into such imaginative characters. The pleasure is all mine. I have devoured your play about the great master Baird Holt several times, but say, did it all really happen like that or was it simply a work of fiction? Many people ask this of me, however, it remains a secret. Maybe I will reveal it on my deathbed. On the deathbed of an R. That could take a while. <laughs> Lord Sandar, Bishop Zacheus wishes to speak with you. Of all times, I hope we get another uh, chance to talk. I'll take my leave. Mm, huh? Hmm? Well then, Terran's spy is gone. I think I know what business you are here on, Sir Victor. My opinion hasn't changed since last time. But my offer has only expanded. Sir Victor, you want to destroy the Grand Gamoir and end Terran's reign of terror over Valandis, and I'm with you on that. King Frederick rules with harsh hand. The people are exhausted and starving. Resistance groups are 
is springing up like mushrooms everywhere. In the last two months, uh, I have been visited several times by such groups. They asked for my support. My answer was always the same. It's useless. We have no chance. My army has been reduced to 50 men and I only own three airships. I am a puppet of King Frederick. How are a dozen starving rebels supposed to change the situation? So, Sir Victor, tell me, why should I give you any different uh, of an answer than I gave, of them, uh, gave to them? Because my offer is anything but starving rebels and because I'm not asking you for men or weapons either. We need permission to fly under your flag and the place to base ourselves. That's all we want. Lady Bran, our plan is to destroy the Grand Grimoire. Surely we will need a troop to create a distraction in the palace while we advance for the stone. But we will recruit these men ourselves. And how will you do that? Even your personal wealth has limits and for reasons other than gold. No one will follow a rider such as you into battle. Allow me to interrupt, Lady Bran, there's even more to offer you. Wait, aren't you? Princess Celestia Valkyria of Terran, I am at your service. The princess is fighting on your side? On our side, my brother must be stopped. If you fear for your head, let the princess be your uh, aegis before King Frederick. And do you know what is better than one princess on our side? Two princesses. What do you mean? I'm in contact with Princess Amalia. She leads a resistance group in Escania and wants to join us. Are you all serious? Furthermore, I have not only an airship to use for our, our cause, but also four sky armors. Ho ho ho! Sir Victor, only you can manage to make me laugh in these sad times. You have actually managed to ignite a spark of hope in me. Now then... You may fly under my banner and bring me Princess Amalia. Perhaps your troop will be able to change things after all. You will not... Uh, I will not fail you, milady. General Torman takes her victor to Hermit's Isle. It will serve as a base for him. Princess Celestia, I will have the guest room prepared. No need, lady uh, Bran. I'll move with uh, Glenn and Sir Victor. You're putting yourselves in unnecessary danger. I would rather put myself than you in danger. If my brother finds out that I'm hiding in your castle, it may have terrible consequences for you. I see your point very, very well then. Let the light of destiny show you the right way. Thank you. Not, uh, do not disappoint me. The chest. So, oh, this is supposed to be a former parent island, huh? Little sunlight, dam walls, and a chill draft. I don't like this place. You'll only catch rheumatism here. It's not like we're here for a vacation. So, I've arranged everything with Tormund. The last of the paperwork is done. Paperwork? We are now registered as an official adventurous clan. Here are our clan crests. What's a clan? Outside of Alandis, adventurers organize themselves into so-called clans. It is a tradition that uh, is slowly established itself here as well. As a clan, we have permission to fly armored around Valandis, at least to a certain degree. Correct. My dear Batras, uh, we are now registered as a call, uh, clan called the Crimson Wings, and our leader is Glenn. What? You've got to be kidding me. Have you ever heard that me a, a joke? Well, you probably have. Don't worry about it, it's just a name on a piece of paper. Why did you do that, Sir Victor? I don't possess any leadership qualities, nor do I have the charisma. 
Indeed, but even without those, you're the best recruiter for new allies in our lines. As the best Sky Armor pilot, you're probably the most capable fighter in the whole country. And you can certainly impress some people with that. Do you really believe that? In the end, we'll make the decisions together. Let's take care of Princess Amalia first. Our uh, contact is waiting for us in Basil. And we will bring us... He will bring us to Her Highness. Alright, let's set up camp here and leave afterwards. Sir Victor, do you have a moment? Sure. Tell me, what's the real reason? What do you mean? You wanted uh, my help to travel to the Kindred Monastery. You searched for me all over Valandis to fight against the Grimoire. And now you uh, chose me as your leader. Why all this? There's no reason, Glenn. Please tell me the truth. There's a reason. You wear two amulets around your neck. They are life anchors, aren't they? The jewel in the amulet is connected to the soul of a person and glows when you approach them. It can be used as a compass. One of the amulets always shines in my presence. It's probably how you found me in Flandern. Why do you possess, uh, possess such a thing? Where do you get this knowledge? <laughs> huh? You're right. But sorry, Glenn. I can't tell you more than I already have. I'm under an oath and it's also best for your health. That's about the kind of answer I was expecting. I can promise you, though, that you'll definitely get your answers. Until then, we should just stay alive. I can probably ask all I want, and you'll keep quiet. So fine, I won't ask any more questions. Thanks, Glenn. But for now, let's unpack our stuff and move to Basil. New side quests available. You are now li uh, a licensed client which allows you to travel through Valandus armed with your airship. You can travel across the world map to find new locations or revisit previous areas. You can call your airship from any outdoor environment if the story allows it by pressing a uh, touchpad button. Sometimes you will get a notification that uh, new side quests are available. You can view the starting point of each quest by checking the world map. You can do this while flying with your airship or while in the teleport menu. No map, huh? Thank you for trusting me. Victor can't reveal the reason yet, but you'll understand one day. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll understand one day. Okay. Nothing really of interest here. From what it looks like. Oh. <clears throat> Oops. Nah. Um. It seems like a fighting or boss area or whatever. Searching for treasure. But there is nothing. Hello. There is absolutely nothing. Which is sad. Have you noticed that Rob isn't insulting us as often as before? It started when we agreed to help him rescue Lenny from the Aurora. Um, I'm kind of confused right now. Oh, I went down and then up again, huh? Okay. It's 
So, I've been here. I've been on the left side. Sorry. But my orientation is always bad. Always. At least in video games, it's like... Truly bad. I probably should do some side quests and some... This island should be perfect for your clan. If you want to get off from here, you should call your airship. Yeah. Sorry. There's still no map. There are mushrooms growing on this island that I haven't seen before. Maybe I can use them for a new concoction. This island is great. If you find me uh, the men, I might build a little port for our airships. Sure. Sure. Hmm. Huh? What are you doing here? I was awaiting your uh, your arrival. I knew that your group would come to this island. You knew? How? Are you a fortune teller or what? Because I'm a fortune... Wait, what? How did you know? Are you a fortune teller yourself? How is this possible? You're asking a lot of questions for being a fortune teller. Damn it. I was too slow. This clan is already taken by your rival. Actually... It is, it's not, I'm no fortune teller. You are not, uh, you are not, I know, of course I do. So, <laughs> let me lend you my talents, I can help uh, you find your destiny in, uh, on this continent. We probably took a long voyage to get here, we can't turn her down, can we? I guess not. As predicted, I'll find myself a nice little place to my business. Come and visit me anytime. Valora joined the clan. You can pay her money to receive clues on where to find new recruits for your clan. Hmm. Interesting. So that is uh, if you find me men thing, huh? Isn't it? I guess. So there's two to exits or entries or whatever you want to call it and the only way to get away from here is by airship question mark pyramid isle and where would i find uh what is her name something with f i forgot about it Okay, uh, let's take a look at the quests. Searching for a princess. Wait, it said there's new quests available. Roland Fields. Yeah, um... Complete the quest of Goblin Dilemma. One treasure chest missing. Complete the quest into the maelstrom. Complete the quest of will to live. Defeat wins without going into overdrive. Five free deals. Yeah, there's still some stuff to do, I'd say. Uh. Save. Can I delete these somehow, by the way? I guess not. Okay, my friends. I'm going to upload a couple of videos. So, thank you for watching. Uh, and, uh, yeah. See you after the upload.